You know, I, I think uh, Coach wanted uh, everybody just to hear one voice um, as far as our corrections that needed to be made, you know, and then also the point out some of the positives that we that we we had. And, um, you know, it was a good session. We had, uh, like I said, everybody in there and uh, we got through the entire game and um, pointed out some real positive things and some obviously some areas that we need to continue to get better at. You know, I, I, he's played a lot better. There's no doubt about it. I think uh, um, he's, uh, he was real disappointed uh, um, with how he played uh, Saturday. Um, you know, obviously, the, when you're the quarterback, I think you're, it gets magnified. You know, and I, and I really do think that also he's played at such a high level. I think he's, he's created high expectations um, for himself, and we certainly have high expectations for him as well. Um, I don't think there's any one thing we can pinpoint. If we could, we would fix it. Um, he's he's got to play better. He's got to play faster, in my opinion. I think he's thinking too much and trying to process too much instead of uh, just playing. And he's uh, he's good enough just to play. And we got to. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. He's thinking too much. But when you overthink things, you play slower. Um, and we got to get him to play instinctive and, and play fast. Play faster. He did some uncharacteristic things uh, on Saturday. Missed some throws that he doesn't miss. We got some technical things on some of his deep balls that we, we uh, were able to point out, um, show to him on tape what he was doing wrong and correct those things. So there were some technical things in there as well. Um, but he missed a couple, couple big play opportunities for us, and uh, he usually doesn't miss those. And for our offense to be successful, um, that guy behind center has got to make those plays. And, um, you know, we all have, we have certainly a ton of confidence in him. He made some good plays during the day as well. He didn't turn the ball over. Uh, knock on wood, which was a huge plus and kept us kept us in the game and was giving us a chance to win in the fourth quarter. But uh, we need him um, to play better. We need the other guys around to play better, and we need to coach better. Um, yeah, uh, um, just some things with his uh, follow through. Um, we we got we showed him on tape, and you know I always say a picture's worth a thousand words. You know we showed him. Uh, from camp and from from last year on his deep balls, how he was he was finishing throws, and uh, a couple of times on Saturday he was short and uh, on on some on one deep th throw in particular that we had open for a touchdown, and um, you could see it was all mechanics. It wasn't anything but uh, just his mechanics changed a little bit, and just like a golf swing or anything else, those have to be consistent and th those have to be um, have to be you know true during the, during those um, those those moments and. Um, like I said, he's done it. He's done it and done it and done it. And we got to get him back to doing it. No, it, it just it was a, it was a, it was an odd game. It had nothing. There was nothing uh, uh, pre-planned or nothing that we didn't think he could do. Um, it was just it was a weird game. We just we never really got in a sync in a in a real rhythm, and we didn't have a lot of plays. And um, you know we'd like to have 15, 18 more plays and. Uh, get, you know, we would have been able to call more things, A, and B, we'd be able really to get more guys in the game and in the flow of the game. So I think just as the game was going, we thought David got a little hot there um, for a little bit and, and kept him in, but it certainly wasn't by design. And, and certainly that, that's a uh, uh, mistake on our staff that we, we're going to get corrected. Chase Hayden needs to play a lot more, and we told Chase that, and he will certainly play uh, in our next ball game. He'll get, his, he'll get more carries because uh, we don't have any you – know, there's no – feeling of he can't do this or he can only run outside or he can't pass for protect and there's there's nothing like that uh, from our staff it's just playing three tailbacks and you don't have a lot of plays and we weren't get, had, didn't have a lot of long drives um, it's 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 kind of tough the the substitution stuff gets tough you know and uh, um, we got to have the ball longer and then we'll certainly do a better job of getting them in Who's that? Oh, TJ. Yeah, he uh, again. Um, now you're talking about a fourth tail back in the game, and uh, we had trouble getting three in. Um, you know, he's he's got to do. TJ's an explosive guy. I think um, um, we maybe uh, uh, need to get him more in one spot, permanent. You know what I mean? There's a lot on his plate, um, but we need him to be a real consistent wide receiver right now. And uh, we need, you know, we're going to give him opportunities here in this bye week and next week to step up and and uh, and and get a bigger role as a wide receiver because we need his explosiveness out there. So uh, TJ will, you know, again figure in. Um, 
he's just got to keep practicing hard and doing things right. And, um, you know, I think that, again, he'll have a significant role here before the season's over. It's been it's been difficult. It's been you know this you know, it's it's uh, with all the injuries that we've that have occurred during camp with that position. You know, TJ was out for a, a, a period of time. Jared was out for a period of time. Brandon Martin was out for a period of time. Jonathan Nance missed time during camp. Um, it's just difficult to get continuity. You know what I mean? And then when Jared comes back, he's not back full, but he's back packed. So we're trying to get him reps, and you know, so we need to settle in on the guys. Um, that are going to be in there with the ones, and then we got to continually develop the younger guys. So if they do get an opportunity um, because of an injury or whatever, they need to be ready. And, but and then certainly there's some young guys, um, and TJ is one of those since he hasn't played. In my opinion, since he's new at wide receiver, uh, Gerard Barnes and Gary Cross uh, and TJ, those guys are just every week. We got to keep bringing them along because I do think that they're just going to continue to get better, and hopefully uh, we can, we can get to a point where everybody's got confidence in the fact that they're going to know where to line up and where to be at the right time. But um, it's been a little bit difficult with uh, with all the different injuries, getting guys in and out and getting continuity. But, um, you know, we've had opportunity. We had opportunities to make plays in the past game on Saturday and uh, we didn't do it. And uh, we got to just we're going to keep grinding and keep continuing to coach those guys hard and put them in the best position we can. And uh, pre- where it starts is like in our practice today, we got to do a great job. And the, the, and I, here it is. Here's the best thing about it is everybody's on board with it and everybody wants to do it and everybody understands we need to get better in that area. So we'll continue to press forward. What do you think the issues were in the run game? Did it the run game the run? We were inconsistent. Uh, you know, you gotta give. Uh, I think we had we had times where I felt really good, like we were really blocking them well. You know, we had really good push. We were on guys. Um, you have to give them a credit, too. I think they're a good defensive football team. I mean, uh, Coach Patterson has been doing this a long time, and um, he, he, those guys, they play extremely hard. And, and uh, you know, there was, a, there was a lot of blitzing, bless you, and there was a lot of uh, there was corner blitzes and uh, things like that. So once a, a couple of them were structured, we call them, where they just say, hey, that's a good call to that. And then um, some of them we, we – we just, you know, physically got beat, and then, um, like I said, I thought that we had some good runs too. Again, um, I'd have liked to seen us run the ball eight more times, nine more times, and see where our run totals would have been because I think we were just starting to, um, in the in the last, you know, quarter and a half there, we were getting some explosive runs, and we're starting to wear on them a little bit. I think we just um, we didn't have the ball long enough. We gotta we gotta have the ball longer, and we gotta create more plays. And when we do that, we'll have the um, I think we'll our running game will create more explosive opportunities. Well, uh, the Missouri game, we had the ball inside the 10 three times. and got no points in the second half uh, against Virginia Tech. I, I think I recall we fumbled. We had a ball in the end zone, or the, or the six-inch line fumbled it out of the back, and we fell apart. And then this past week, we had the ball down there again and um, didn't come away with points. So um, if there was one thing we could pinpoint, we would do it. But certainly, you know, this is my third season here. I know we've scored a lot of points in the second half in games and in overtime games and so on and so forth. So... Uh, every every game is really different, in my opinion, and um, we just got to keep doing what we're doing and keep coaching and playing hard, and uh, um, I think uh, things will take care of themselves. And how awesome through to these guys all spring and working them all summer, but the games are different. Do people maybe underestimate the fact that these are still guys who get used to working with most of the Well, yeah, I think yeah, I think yes and no. I think uh, you know some of the some of the things were on Austin, you know, this week and. Uh, and some of the things were on the receivers. You know, we we had some drops. Um, you know, a guy lost lost track of where he was in the back of the end zone on a play. Um, you know, so uh, I think there's a little little bit of both. Um, but uh, uh, you know, these guys have been playing together long enough. Now we've got enough reps where there should be a, a really high confidence level. We've um, we we we've, we've been running the same stuff. Uh, we try to keep it real simple and concise for them, so they know where to go and and what when we're doing it and how we're doing it. And uh, you know that, that to me, it's, it's time for those excuses are over, man. We gotta we gotta get guys in the game that are gonna catch the ball when it's thrown to them, and we gotta you know, we gotta get the ball on them when they're open and get them in a spot where they can catch it. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. CJ's done a done a really good job. He he uh, he played with um, a lot better strain this this past week too. He was better in the run game. Um, I, you know, his whole thing with us has just been being consistent with uh, the the run game part of it. Um, so we didn't have to just keep. We don't want to keep putting him in only on pass plays. We want him to be an every down tight end. He's certainly moving towards that. Um, he, he, he showed a lot of emotion on Saturday, some competitiveness that we haven't seen a lot out of that, that and that was great to see. And, uh, um, you know, he was in our plans this past week, and he'll certainly continue to, that, that role will continue to grow, I believe. No, I, th I think we'll, you know, probably start the same guys. Uh, uh, I think inside those guys are playing real well. We had we, we got beat on the edges a little bit uh, on Saturday. I know our right tackle got beat or um, on the third play of the game, which is, you know, an un unacceptable situation with a three-man rush. Um, and then our left tackle did some good things, but he got edged too a little bit. Um, so we, we need those guys to continue to develop and play better. But I thought Frank played outstanding. Um, yelled at was was good. And then Ty Clary, you know, that guy's uh, um, continues to get better and better. He's he's a good football player. So. Um, like the group, we just got to, again, just keep grinding, keep pushing, uh, keep getting better. I, I agree. I, you know, I don't watch the broadcast, but if Gary Danielson said that, I, I agree with him. I think it was just some uh, frustration from the whole afternoon coming out. Uh, I think Austin was uh, just frustrated with himself. He was frustrated with where we were at in the game. You know, uh, we, we had plenty of chances to take the lead in that game and, um, and you know, in the, and win the football game. And uh, um, so I, th I think that that emotion was more towards the day um, than anything else. And you know what? It's uh, he's a competitor, he's a human, and uh, his emotions got away from him a little bit. But uh, um, you know he keeps it in check. There's a lot of respect for him amongst our football team and coaches. So um, everybody, you know, again, it's an emotional game, and I think we all have outbursts like that. that sometimes we look back and say, I gotta, I gotta keep my cool in that situation. Um. Well, the the the, um, the one run down there, we had a, we had an MA, we had a missed assignment, and uh, um, I, I felt we could have scored on on one of the runs. Uh, the second run, it was it, you know I I put it on structure, which is my fault. The call um, it should have had the ability to bring one of the receivers in to block the edge blitz. Um, so really, um, the numbers of people really didn't hurt us so much as just those two things I just mentioned. And then on the third down call, uh, we had a guy open in the end zone. He lost track of where he was. So. I don't know. I, you know, I haven't. I didn't ask him why he did it. I just, you know, as a good coach and supporter would do, I told him he looks very nice. I like his new haircut. So, and uh, that's all I said. And just like when they tell me they like my haircut, sometimes I'm sure they probably aren't interested in why I did it, or they probably don't even like it. But um, maybe you just want to get a a fresh start and bye week, and let's get going. So he's a he's a great great young man, as you guys all know, and. Uh, He's a competitor, and I know he's going to bounce back in a great way here.